I had to meet with a doctor, with a psychologist, um, and she said, you cannot go to college, it's who you are. To be honest, I was crying, devastated, but I didn't let that, I did not let that stop me. I went to college to learn for myself and to make myself a better person. I chose Mercy because my father went there. So I decided to stuck stick with my father's school. I had a lot of doubters. I had a lot of doubters, including my own siblings. I don't take no. I, I don't take no for an answer. I've always been like this since I was very young. When I got to college, very challenging. Severely challenging, difficult. I cried, but I didn't give up. Altogether, I failed literally five classes. I've struggled with tests, exams, papers my whole life. So I never blamed professors. You know, I have no choice but to put a brave face on and take it again. I've been brave my whole life. Like, I've been brave since I was 18 years old. Apart from financial aid, I had to pay for it. I didn't have, I didn't ask my parents to pray for it because they went through, they had so much financial issues on their own, so I didn't want them to bear it. I had to pay for some books, some books I had to pay, some of it I had to hang in there and I had to ask one of my, my classmates if I could take a picture of the, the chapter. I majored in general accounting, was because it was math, because I love numbers. And I like, you know, doing, like, you know, the calculations. Oh, we haven't had any Mercy is family. See each you know. other. Not only that, but you get a lot of good services here. You get the writing center. You get the math center. You get the finance center. Working with assess office accessibility was, it was a good. Actually, it was, it was really, really good. Because they want to help you academically. Not only that, but outside of, outside of Mercy. They want to see you succeed, not, not to discourage you. What I like to say to the millennials, autism or not, is that I want them to aim high, settle for more, even when you're disabled and you have a severe autism or speech impairment, keep going. Don't let anybody stop you. Because if they allow that to affect them, like in their ear and saying, oh, she can't do this because she has a reading problem. No. Block it out. Keep going. Aim high. Do it for you. Don't settle for less. Settle for more. I'm looking forward to this. I'm going to handle my head up high and be strong. I did this. I succeeded. It's up to you to push yourself to the higher level.